Hello Bellwinners, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful dress you see over here. Okay, it's um, actually made with the lace at the bodice and the lower part and also flounces here in the front and of course at the shoulder line as well. Alright, so um, it's also an asymmetrical neck line. Um, one, it means one full shoulder and the other shoulder is off the shoulder. So let's go over to our pattern and make this. So I've gone ahead, this is our shoulder line, okay, this is for our shoulder, this is our bust line, our under bust line, and this is our waist line. And of course I've folded my pattern into two, because this is an asymmetrical neckline, okay, alright, and here we go. The first thing we are going to be making is your normal bust here, alright, so I'm going to be making a princess that bust here, I'm sure by now you're already have a basic knowledge of how to make a princess that was here you can find a very um, detailed video here in my channel but for those of you who doesn't know how to make um, princess that was here i'll go over and show you how to do it so um to make a princess that was here you start from your bust line and mark out your bust part that is nipple to nipple point which is also known as that for this um, dress i'll be making the that is four inches so i'm going to be marking four inches all the way from the bust line down to the waistline and then I'll connect the lines you want to use a ruler for that so that you get your lines very accurately um, if you watch my previous previous videos I I like drafting using freehand method okay you may want to use your curves and French curves for that okay then I'll go back to marking out my shoulder line and also the ample for this client the shoulder span or your across back is seven inches also automatically i'll be taking that seven inches for my ample okay and if you go this way please you may want to use your french curve for this so i've curved out my ample all right so from the armhole line here i'm also going to mark out my that all right four inches as well and then i'm going to be curving it to meet this way so we want to ensure that you have a perfect curve all right like this will do down to meet here with this bust line now um i usually give two inches for my bust here allowance but at the end of the day i don't end up exhausting all those two inches depending on um my client's bust um if your client is very busty then you may have to use up to two inches um, for sake of those who are not too familiar with this, let me just show you the differences. So from this um, that bust pan line, I'm going to be marking out another two inches to draw another parallel that curve to it. All right, so I'll still curve out. Another second princess that line like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to be curving my bust here now. For the under bust line, I'm going to be taking half of an inch, okay? I'm going to be taking half of an inch inwards. Also, in this front part as well, you may want to leave this front part straight like this, or you may still want to curve it in also using half of an inch, all right? So, but you may want to leave it outside. This middle part here is optional, but for here, you must take your half inch out inwards at the under bust line okay so if your client is very busty or yourself um and you want to make a bigger cup bust here you will start from somewhere here about um half inch or three quarter of an inch away from the second line here to curve out your cup okay i'm going to be working with this you can see like i said earlier my cup is not going to be meeting these two other two inches line okay then from here also this half of an inch line i'm going to be curving it to meet here you want to ensure that you have a very good curve there so that you don't have any challenges when making your bust here and from here also i'm going to slant out so as to meet this original line okay there but if you want a bigger curve you may want to from here or any point here slant out draw a curve to meet with this line here this two inches line here if you do that your uh, cup your breast pad will be very big and if your plant is not that busted that her breast can fill in you'll be having a challenge with that 
Okay, so but I'll be going with this original line that I drew here. And also at this princess that you'll notice that whenever you're joining your princess that at the armhole, if you start from the down, at the armhole line is you will not always meet up with this other uh, middle part, middle front part. Or if you start from the middle front part here, it will not meet up at the down part. So we always extend here by an inch or one and a half inches, depending. So as to avoid any shortages. And then you connect that line back to your original armhole. Okay, that is what we normally do, or else you'll be having shortage when you're sewing. Now, for this other part, because I'm going to be curving here too, from here also, I'm going to draw a curve as well. Draw a curve to meet here, and then you slant outwards. Like I said earlier, this other part curving is not quite necessary. You can achieve your sweet bust here without doing this. Okay, but I'm I'm just doing this tutorial for today. Then the next thing you want to go ahead to do now is your shaping. Um, your round bust measurement already divided by four. Your under bust and your waist measurement as well. For this client, her round um, bust measurement is nine inches. Okay, and um from here I've already taken out four inches. So 9 minus 4 will be left with 5. From this line here, not here, from this line here, I'm going to be taking that 5 inches out to mark. You can see the line here, 5 inches. For the other boss, her other boss divided by 4 is 7 3 quarter. Okay, and from that, I've already taken um, 3 3 quarter here. So that will be left with um, 3 and a half or thereabout. That will be 4 left here. And of course, the waist is round base is also the same thing um seven three quarter and here is four that will be left with three three quarter here so you can see my markings here now so from this markings i will add my two inches um allowance or you can make it three all right two inches allowance or when you are placing it on your pattern your, your actual material you can still add as much allowance as you want to okay so i always add my allowances on my pattern most of the time i get too busy and forget if i did not add my pattern um allowance to my pattern most of the time when i'm cutting it out i may forget so i always take precautions to always add my allowances to my patterns before placing on my actual fabric to cut out so now i'm going to pick my scissors and cut out now um if you notice i'm not shaped out the armhole yet yes there's a reason the neckline rather sorry there's a reason for that this is an asymmetrical neck so i cannot just be cutting out either an off shoulder or a full shoulder neckline it is going to affect the other shoulder line which is an off shoulder okay so i have to cut this out and then open my fold before i begin carving out my asymmetrical neck so let me cut it out and then show you so i've gone ahead to cut out my pattern now i'm going to be opening it from the fold removing it from the fold okay so that we now go ahead and shape out our neckline now um, this is a pattern so you can actually turn it anywhere you want to so it is from here now that you determine which part so um i'm going to be using this part because the from the style we saw that the the, the full shoulder is at the right hand side okay so i'm going to be using this part as the full shoulder and this other part as the off shoulder um first of all this is the middle point of my pattern paper okay it has already brought out the middle point for me so i'm going to be taking cognizance of that and because of the shape of the neckline all right so i'm going to be determining how deep the middle part of the neckline will be if you want um it's very exposed at your bust you can take up to eight inches you can see this is my bust line nine inches here so um for this i'm going to be taking about um seven inches or six and a half okay i'm going to be taking six and a half here then um from the shoulder line it's normally three inches from the armhole in it's normally three inches so i'll be marking three inches here all right and i'm going to be um, drawing that curve something like this okay you have to be very artistic here i'm going to be drawing the curve like this for this other part and also for here I'm going to make sure that I draw the curve also to come to this side and I'm, I'll be doing this here
ensure that it goes here too. Comes here like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm having too many lines here. So we just have to be very artistic. And um, I don't think this upper one will work better for it. So I'll go with the second line here. It's all the way straight. Okay, so you want to use your curve or anything that will help you in getting the shape very well. But if you are good with your free hand, why not you go ahead with that? Mm -hmm. So I've gone ahead to cut out my shaped um, neckline and also the remaining part of this other armhole. Okay, so this is it for the body. For the back of the um, bodice, you are just still going to make an asymmetrical neck as well. I have a very detailed video on that already in my channel. Okay, so I'm just going to do that on my main fabric and then show you for sake of time. For the back piece, I've gone ahead to map out my shoulder, bust, under bust, and the waistline. Also, I've given out um, one inch for my zipper allowance here at the middle front line. So I'll go ahead and start by marking out my four inches that from the zip line here. Four inches all the way to the waistline as you can see for here I'm using I'm not using any pattern I'm drafting directly on the in, uh, interfacing that I'll be using okay then on um, the shoulder or across back span here is seven inches and I also mark out seven inches for my armhole okay after which I mark down four inches here to connect my princess dot to this line here the next thing i want to do now is to do my shaping the round bust remains nine inches but i'm going to be starting from here i also have to give out one inch because of joining of this and princess that so that will make it 10 inches i'll mark that 10 inches around here the other bust is seven three quarter plus one inch here because of the um princess that that will give me eight three quarter and the same goes for the waist eight three quarter as well okay so then i'm going to be adding two inch inches allowance okay at the shaping side for my seam allowance then i connect the lines all there also the same thing we did for the front that we did not cover the neck because of the asymmetrical neck there's the same thing we're going to be doing for the back as well so we go ahead and cut it out and then open our fold before shaping out the neck so guys this is my front piece i earlier cut out in my pattern and uh, this is my back piece I just cut out now so I'm going to be separating my back piece like this okay all right so let me take in one inch on this side to overlap it because of the zipper allowance okay so this is my back piece now to make the asymmetrical neck I'm going to be taking this front piece here you want to be very careful about this so that you don't um, mix it you don't make the front um, full shoulder to be on the left hand side then you go and make the back full shoulder to be on the right hand side it would be a mis big mistake and a big blow for you then you have to cut your fabric which also means wastage especially if you are working with um, a limited fabric so what did i do this is a bad face of the front piece okay so this is the good face and this is the good face of the back piece. so the good face of the middle front is making a good face of the back so with this method i won't have any mistake and of course you want to also mark out the shoulder here where it's supposed to start from and also this way too okay and then you can remove the the front piece back to aside then um, i'm going to be covering out the neck you can give it any shape you want you can give it a square like this okay but i'm going to be taking a round shape for the back neck all the way i think i'm bringing this side into the balance so here goes my back neckline like this so i'll be cutting it out this way so now this is my back and my front piece i'll go ahead and place this on my actual lace fabric and this is the lace material that I'll be using, so I'll just place it on it and then cut out. But before I do that, let me 